So I'm out on a little walk here, uh, doing a little bit of uh, late season winter tracking, uh, and I came across a fun little gate story, uh, which is kind of neat. So behind me, there is a, kind of a steep hill coming out of the woods there, and coming down the hill, there's this animal that's moving in what we call a two by two pattern. So you can see there's a track here and a track there. And then there's a giant space, and then we have another set of two right there, space, another set of two. So it's moving in what we call a two by two lope. And this is a very classic pattern for our weasel family, particularly in the winter time. Um, and what you have here on this left side, you'll actually have a front and a back foot in this track here. So the front one landed first, and then it lifted and the back one landed in it. And the same with that one there. Uh, that's a front and a rear as well. Uh, even though it looks like two tracks, if you look at the amount of space between the next set, the space between the next set, well, that's too long for one step for something with such a small foot. So there's actually two sets in there, but you can't see the front foot because the back foot landed on top of it. So you have this set of two, space, set of two, space, set of two. So that's the normal two by two lobe. Well, what I wanted to show you that's kind of fun here is when we walk out onto the lake. So just follow me for a second here. Oh, beautiful view here today, beautiful day. So once we get out to the lake, uh, you'll see it in a second here, the gate actually switches. So up until this track right here, it's in that two by two lane. And then suddenly, if you look at the next set there, that track there, that set, and we'll take a look at them closer, the pattern actually changes. So we go from having these two side by side that are slightly offset to here, we have a set of three. And that set of three is actually in a kind of a C shape pattern there. So what we have here is we have a front foot here, and then we have a front and rear on this one, and then we have a rear foot there. Uh, and this is what we start to talk about is a rotary pattern uh, that the animal's starting to move, and it basically means that it's picking up speed. And what you'll notice is that the distance between those sets of two were actually closer together than this set to the next one and the one after that, because as the animal speeds up, its pattern changes. So we got this rotary pattern, and then from here, it goes on to a full-on bound pattern, which basically means that, let's see how we can see that there. We ha now have front, front, rear, rear. They're totally separated from each other. So the two fronts have landed and the two rears have actually come over top and then there's another big leap. And then again, we have a front, front, a rear, rear there. So this is a full bound, uh, which I actually don't see this animal do this that often, but my guess is we're out in the open right now, the animal's exposed. Um, and it probably had some reason to just get across this opening um, relatively quickly where it's kind of exposed. Because as soon as it goes into the cover on the other side, it actually slows down and goes back into that two by two pattern. So what clues do we have to work with to actually ID who this is? Uh, that's another question that we could throw right here. Now it's hard because we don't have a lot of detail in the tracks. Um, if you were to only look at this one little track right here, or maybe even, <laughs> This one right here, I don't know how well you see that front one. You might look at that single track and actually say, that looks kind of like a canine track. Like I see four clear toes there. Let's see. Four clear toes there. But what's not canine-like is it has this big, long heel pad. Um, so this track is actually too long. And if I come back and look at these ones here, same thing, it's very, very long and narrow this way, not as wide that way. Um, it comes down into a little bit of a narrow point at the base of the heel, gets wider as it goes forward. And I think what we're kind of missing here is we can clearly see four toes, but if I look right there, there's actually a fifth toe that's down a little bit lower on it. So if it has five toes, it's not going to be one of our canines. It's not going to be like a fox or something. I also never really see foxes moving in that two by two lope pattern. I very commonly see it in weasels. So now that we're thinking, okay, it's got five toes. Well, weasels have five toes. So that puts us in the weasel grouping. And I look down at the pattern and say, okay, well that two by two pattern, that supports a weasel as well. Well, which weasel might it actually be? Size wise, that print is quite large. Like it's probably almost two inches wide, um, probably over three inches long. Uh, so that rules out our smaller weasels. You know, it's not a mink, it's not a long tail weasel, it's not a short tail weasel or an ermine. That puts us up into the Martin uh, and the Fisher side for this habitat. So my guess looking at the size of this is we're probably looking at a Fisher. Um, so there we go, a little bit of ID for you and also just uh, a little bit of a story on starting to read the gate. And it's kind of neat uh, that once you start to recognize those patterns, uh, the two by two pattern into that little transverse circular pattern, into the bound pattern, you can actually start to visualize the animal, what it's doing as it moves across the landscape. It starts to speed up. Uh, and then once it gets back into the cover, it feels safe and comfortable again. It slows back down into that two by two 
So I hope you enjoyed that little tracking video and it uh, demonstrates to you how much fun tracking is. You know, it really transforms the experiences that we have when we're out in nature um, and what we're able to see. Uh, I call this reading nature's language. If you'd like to know more about uh, how to learn how to track and increase your awareness in the outdoors, go over and check out our uh, site, www.learnnaturelanguage.com. Uh, and there's another really cool video over there telling you what that's all about. Okay, cheers everybody. Happy tracking. <laughs>